certainly a warm weekend for all those trick-or-treaters out there, Allison. Yes, very warm out there. Beautiful day, though, and the whole weekend has really been absolutely gorgeous. Mary Reed Runyon sent this photo in to me from Pike County. You can still see all the beautiful fall colors outside. I'm thinking this week might be our last week to see all that beautiful foliage. Now, temperatures certainly don't feel like fall. 64 degrees in Prestonsburg, 70 degrees in Jackson, 61 in London, and Harlan sitting at 59 degrees and a little bit cooler throughout Middlesbrough. We're seeing temperatures ranging in the mid 50s there at 56 degrees. Now we're seeing just a few light showers popping up on pinpoint Doppler. I'm actually not too surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if most of this rain isn't actually making it down to the ground, but if it is very, very light showers now moving throughout Knott County. Now that's all part of a cold front moving throughout the Commonwealth and that front is actually stretching across the mid Atlantic all the way over to the Ohio Valley now moving south throughout the Commonwealth and that's going to continue to push through throughout the rest of the night. But you know what? That cold front not really going to do all that much in the way of rainfall or in the way of temperatures. We are still going to be warm throughout the first half of the week, but we do have some more showers that will arrive throughout the midweek, sticking around throughout the later half of the week and then temperatures are finally going to get back to seasonal. But until then, temperatures still fairly warm. We're only dropping down into the mid 50s throughout the rest of the night. There is a slight chance of some of that drizzle sticking around throughout the very, very, very early morning hours for Monday morning. So if you're heading out around five o'clock or so, you could run into just a few uh, raindrops on your way out the door. Now, other than that, though, tomorrow's going to be fairly dry. Skies staying partly to mostly cloudy throughout the majority of the day and winds staying fairly calm throughout the day as well. So for Halloween, if you haven't a costume that incorporates a raincoat or an umbrella. You're not really going to need it because it's going to stay dry throughout the day. Temperatures making their way into the mid 70s throughout eastern Kentucky. And then on top of that, throughout the trick or treating hours, temperatures will drop down into the mid and lower 60s throughout between 6 and around 8 o'clock tomorrow night. So fairly mild Halloween for tomorrow. Now, skies are going to be partly cloudy, but they'll start to clear out just a little bit by the evening hours. So it's likely that we will see a few peaks of sunshine just before the sun starts to set and then throughout the overnight Monday into Tuesday we're going to start to clear back out so some patchy fog likely to develop by Tuesday morning otherwise the rest of Tuesday staying fairly clear and also warming up even more so on Tuesday records in jeopardy yet again Tuesday temperatures are going to make their way into the lower 80s we're expecting Wednesday to be another fairly warm day as well now I mentioned those records are in jeopardy for Tuesday the record currently sitting at 81 degrees and I am forecasting a high of 80 and then throughout the rest of the week will stay warm until that cold front moves through and we finally get back to seasonal. Now check this out. We only have one day until Halloween. This time next week, clocks need to be set back because we will be falling back for daylight saving time ending. And then Thanksgiving, not too far away either. It's hard to believe it's already here. It is really hard to believe, especially with it this warm. I know. So. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Allison. Still to come on Mountain News.